So guys, I want to talk about my favorite 35 millimeter SLR camera and probably the only one you'll ever need. Basically, the first time I came across this camera was when I watched um, Wild Re Rome's um, video about it, about the Canon A1, and instantly when I watched it two or three years ago, I just fell in love. I fell in love, I had to get it. And this is actually my second um, A1 body because the first one I broke. I put it in my bag and I had food in my bag and the food leaked and completely destroyed the electronics in the camera. The guy at the shop told me that it wasn't worth getting it fixed, I was better off just buying a new body. So this is actually my second one. I'm not really good at talking about all the technicality, talking about all, you know, technical stuff, but I'll do my best, you know, off the top of my head and tell you guys what, you know, the features of this camera. Um, the main features, you know, the main reason why I love this camera in terms of its technical ability is that it has aperture priority and shutter priority. You want photography to be as easy as possible. You just want to be focusing on lighting, composition, all that. And if you have anything that can make your life a bit easier, I'll take it. It's also one of the first cameras that have a built-in double exposure, multiple exposure um, feature, uh, which is also really nice. One thing you'll learn about film cameras is that a lot of them take batteries that, you know, are quite hard to get or quite difficult, sorry, are quite expensive. This camera takes really cheap batteries and one thing that you'll learn if you're new to film cameras is that initially when you buy your first film camera you realize that oh my god these cameras are a lot cheaper than you know the digital modern counterparts you suddenly want to collect all of them you want to buy all the film cameras but you quickly learn um, over time that collecting cameras is highly overrated over time it's become more of a headache than a pleasure um, because these cameras these old film cameras they're like babies they need to be looked after all the time they need to be used all the time if you don't use them they will over time they will just break they'll need maintenance so the more cameras you have basically the more maintenance you're gonna have to pay for the fewer cameras the better really guys and of the SLRs out there, I think, in my opinion, obviously I'm biased because this is my first one, but I think the Canon A1 is a fantastic option. Not only are these super affordable at the moment, um, and at last time I checked, they're only about 100 pounds, 150 pounds. I got mine for 100 pounds. They're built like a tank, they're solid. It's all metal, if I'm not mistaken. The Canon FD lenses are awesome they're amazing they're some of the best out there you know even the the cheaper ones are really good like the 50 pound range all the way up to the really expensive ones you know hopefully one day i'll be able to afford some of the l lenses basically when you're buying a film camera what's really important what you should be thinking about is the lenses i had an f1 which i sold because i realized you know it's a legendary camera but in terms of what it produces, you know, it's no different to an A1. They both take pictures. That it didn't make any sense for me to have the A1 and the F1 because they both did the exact same thing. They both used the same lenses. It wasn't like I was getting more megapixels using the F1. It was exactly the same. You don't have to change your grip whilst you're shooting. You, whereas with the F1, you had to, which is really, it slows down the process. It, it's just really inconvenient. It's sort of, it makes, the camera less of you know doesn't make you want to use it if it's you know if it's just a hassle to use most importantly the reason why i keep this not just because of sentimental value the reason why i bought it initially is because i just think it is so beautiful for me what's really important is you know do, do i like the look of it i know that's kind of weird i know some people might disagree with me but for me if a camera doesn't look nice you know I, i'm not gonna buy it for me, it starts off, does it look nice? Does it make me feel? Does it make me want to pick it up? Does it make me want to start taking pictures with it? And if the camera doesn't do that, then I'm really not that interested. What caught my eye about it was the looks. I love the font of it. I love um, the orange on the orange numerals on the lens, on this particular lens, the 35 FD, which I have glued to this camera body. Its functional ability is sort of secondary. And for me, this camera is sort of a perfect combination of the two. It performs incredibly well. It's perfect um, for street shooting. It's perfect for portrait shoots. 
anything travel photography it doesn't take up that much space it's built like a tank um, price point wise the lenses are affordable the lenses are you know absolute beast the L lenses are legendary lenses they're some of the best that were ever made especially the 85 1.2 it just gets the job done guys if you're in the market for a 35mm SLR even if you're a beginner if you're advanced film shooter whatever if I were to sell all my other cameras this is the one I would keep because of all the reasons I just stated I love this camera I probably won't ever sell it yeah and follow me at Zane Shoots Film <laughs> on Instagram check out my portfolio at www.zainreza.com and I'll see you all in the next one. Keep learning, keep shooting, peace.